Celebrating Black History Month, sponsored by Eskenazi Health, McDonald's, Richard M. Fairbanks Foundation, and Bose McKinney and Evans. In tonight's celebration of black history, some of the first people to claim Hamilton County as home in 1835. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey introduces us to descendants of three men who set off on a journey. She found parts of their settlement still remains. Several of the founders are laid to rest on this land. When they came here in the 1830s, all of this area was a wilderness. But descendants say their bravery helped turn this place into a home that would eventually grow into a community of several hundred. The Robert Settlement Church Meeting House hasn't changed much since the mid-1800s. So it gives you a literal look at some of the history developed here. I think that we are, we are blessed that the church here, the chapel, the cemetery are intact. In the days following the Nat Turner Rebellion, free mixed race black people faced broader dangers and higher risks of enslavement. So in 1835, three men, Hansel Roberts, Elijah Roberts, and Micaiah Walden, took off on a journey from North Carolina, hoping to buy land and find safety. They found it in the wilderness of Hamilton County. Decisions had to be made. Uh, regarding, you know, uh, we wanted to maintain our freedom. Uh, so uh, in turn, some decisions were made to look at migrating to an area where we could continue to have our freedom. Lavella Hyder is a direct descendant of one of the original founders, Hansel Roberts. Yeah, I would have been, what, a toddler? And grew up on this land in the 1950s and sang in this very church. I do remember being in the, the youth choir. We used to sing over here, and um, it, a, a lot of people might find it hard to imagine that here a little rural, rural uh, church we, we brought it. The founders picked this land because it was closer to Quakers, a group of people who would eventually denounce slavery. During the 1800s, black people were able to buy land directly from the government for $1.25 per acre. Which was wilderness at that time, so it's, it's really uh, amazing to know that they had this vision of what this could be, where they would be able to look at an area that would ultimately produce farmland where they could build their log houses, could build their church, community center, and you know have a, a vital part of uh, existence. About 12 families lived here during Hyder's childhood, but at its height, several hundred free black people called this home. Today, she's one of the holders of history, alongside fellow descendant Brian Glover. My uh, third great-grandfather is one of the founders, Elijah Roberts. Overseeing the Roberts Settlement Preservation, Glover didn't live here but grew up visiting the land for its annual homecomings, only later realizing the gem planted here. I think Lavelle and I would agree that we wish we asked our grandparents more questions. Um, uh, now we have to try to piece it together. Glover has somewhat shifted into a historian of sorts, following the clues left behind in stories, pictures, and books to piece together what life was like for free black people while uncovering how they managed to not only live, but thrive. This is kind of what Robert Selman looked like in 1840. With 1,800 acres of land, they went from growing just enough to eat and survive to a large farming operation that allowed them to build wealth, educate their children, thus creating generational wealth. But through all those obstacles, I think they sort of had these basic principles that um, uh, we, are, we, are, we are not going to let these obstacles get in our way. We're going to prepare our children uh, for, you know, for success. Uh, and when you look at the descendants that came from that first generation born here, second generation born here, they went on to do great things. Today, both Hyder and Glover share the history, but we'll get some help. Recently unveiled plans for a Robert Settlement Legacy Walk outdoor display, raising already $350,000, hoping to gather another 100000 You know, this is not just something for family, it's something for the community. It's for those who have a great appreciation for history. Both say after nearly two centuries, the hope to never let its legacy get lost to time. Reporting in Hamilton County, Katira Winfrey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.